What skills do you really need to write a novel? Or what about a very challenging personal story to put that into a book? Great questions. I get those often. And let me unlayer what is in those so that you understand what goes into writing a book and in particular a novel or a book that is directly interlinked to a personal story. We've been through challenges, some difficult times, and you want to share that with an audience. Sigurd Cast, I have worked with people in business since about 2014 to help them write and publish a marketing optimized book with the purpose to help you elevate your leadership authority, position your expertise, share your vision and get your message out there. Now, I work with people in business, in particular, women in business. But of course, the question and the knowledge around novels and personal stories, even biography, biographies, for example, they all are genres that I come across that are being asked about and that I have gathered knowledge about. So here we go. A novel is a genre that requires the capacity for you to create a story, whether that is a completely fictional story or whether you're going to use some historical elements in it, whatever it is you want to write. Important about novel writing is not even so much how good you are of creating a story, but how you are going to get it published. Now, of course, you can self-publish it just like you can self-publish your business book or your business-related book or any other book. The difference is a novel is more tricky to know who will want to read it. So without any marketing speak, target market, target reader, and so on, who is going to read your novel? Now, if you have a very specific area of interest, a historical time, then you would really want to do your research into how much of that particular topic is already out there as novels and how well they sell already. And if you are looking at having it published with a publishing house or a publisher, it's going to take you time to get it published, to get the attention of a publisher. The skill to create a novel lies in you imagining the storyline with the characters, with the things that happen in the story, to make sure that what you start with still makes sense at the end, that you have this red thread, as we say, or golden thread, whichever way you work, that that is going right through the book, through the novel, and that you're not losing what you are talking about. So mapping it out in detail, bringing your inspiration through, writing with emotion, writing with clarity the story that you want to put on the pages. That's really the skill. So... Is it a skill as such? Well, I don't know. Some people may say, yes, my personal experience was English for me as my second language. When I did English language and literacy to get more proficient in the language, I discovered in the course I did that I naturally was writing the stories and fulfilling the assignments in that course with excellence even though in my native language way back at school, I wasn't getting very good numbers, very good notes at school uh, for language and literacy. So who knows? Is it natural? I don't know. I've just developed over time a way of writing, I guess. So a novel is a very specific genre, you need to really know who is going to want to read it. You can write it just for pleasure. You can simply publish it if that is what you'd like to do. But don't expect 
sales and make money with it. If you do want to look at making money and making sales, then you need to research what topic is one that a lot of people read right now. What are the searches? What comes up in Amazon? Can you determine? And so on. And then you can go and start mapping your story out and writing your novel. Stay with the story and the characters is what I would say. Now, on the other hand, writing about a challenging time, personal experiences is a completely different matter. You don't have to make up a story. The story has already happened. You need to figure out not what the story is about, not how you're going to bring it onto the pages, but you need to figure out before you start writing, what is the purpose of me putting this on paper or on the pages? And here's why. Do you want to write it for others to read? Why? What is the purpose of that? Are you expecting that you're going to share your personal experience and therefore help other people to overcome some obstacle that you have overcome? Then you need to be really clear on the entire setup of what is the topic in itself? How are you going to address that topic and what is the outcome you want to achieve by writing this down and who is going to read it and why? Why would they want to read it? I don't want to sound negative here, but loads of people in the world have some shocking experiences, some very, very challenging, challenging personal stories to tell. And a lot of people write about it. Most often they are not achieving any sales or traction with the book they wrote on that topic. Why? Because they didn't start with planning what they actually wanted to achieve. So that's a very strong first step. And in the program that I offer to people in business who want to write a book, that is the very, very first phase or pillar that we go into. And that is planning. We are planning to inspire. We are planning to make an impact. We are planning why the book is going to be written for what purpose with what outcome to be achieved. So if you have clarity on that, then the writing itself is going to be in a way as if you were telling this story. So you're not looking to high-end literacy skills, but you're looking to a personal connective style of talking to the reader. Before you do that, you want to really be clear what the outcome is because the outcome determines whether you are going to tell your story in a A to Z fashion, so from timeline type, or whether you're going to tell your story around the main impact you want to achieve. So that might be, let's say, you never want another person to go into business again because you were so badly burned and lost all of your money. So the whole topic would not be your personal story as such, but it would be the topic you're writing about, your personal story would be entangled, intertwined into the overall book as a business book, for example. Some years ago, I had a young woman come to me. She was determined to write a book on the subject of her experience with a particular um with a particular travel agent who really did her a very bad deal. She lost a lot of money. She got lost somewhere uh, because the travel arrangements weren't made correctly. There was a lot of bad things going on behind the scenes. She felt other people needed to know how to choose a good travel agent. With the discussions we had together, unlayering what the real purpose was, what she wanted to achieve, she discovered that that negative approach she had in mind really wasn't going to give her any readership, any attention in the media, because it wasn't coming from a space of 
achieving something for other people. So the topic is important. And then once you are clear on who will want to read that, then you can roll out all the other parts, components of your book. I do help people with the initial planning of what they want to do around their book, if that is all they wish to do to have clarity around writing. The writing itself is the smallest part. It's the planning that is most important. So if you're interested to, uh, to talk more or to have my input in your idea, there are several ways we can do that. Simply connect, simply contact me and I'll happily speak with you on your specific situation.